Hi, Bill Blair again from Moments in Time. In the mid-1800s, the Covington community realized the need for an educational facility for females. And therefore, a group of Covington residents banded together to build and establish a, quote, female school of high order. The female college was built in 1851 in the following year, the city transferred the facility to the Grand Lodge of the Masonic Fraternity in Georgia. A new charter was obtained from the state, and the name was changed to the Southern Masonic Female College. We learn from Jane's handbook, published in 1876, that the Grand Lodge of the state appointed the Board of Trustees for the college, of which the Grand Master is president, that it was the sole property of the fraternity, and was founded for the purpose of educating the female orphans of Masons. It had a college curriculum and conferred a full baccalaureate degree upon its graduates. In 1870, it had an average attendance of 90 and had graduated over 350 up to that time. It was largely patronized by citizens who were not members of the Masonic Order. In 1882, the college passed into possession of Methodists and became the Georgia Methodist Female College. In 1886, the school taught English, math, natural science, ancient and modern languages, and history, as well as music and art. Enrollment was about 140. When the Covington City School Commission was organized in 1889, one of the first items of business was to approach the Methodist Conference to propose a takeover of the college. The city was allowed to take over the college and subsequently built a new building on the property which became the Covington Public School. This school, which I was fortunate enough to attend until the sixth grade, served the community as an elementary and high school until 1954. But Covington Elementary School actually started when the city of Covington assumed control for the Georgia Methodist Female College on July the 14th, 1894, today a Newton County moment in time. Newton County Moments in Time is a production of Blair on the Square, which is solely responsible for its content. For more information on this topic, go to blaironthesquare.com.